Tokyo. It's an amazing city, but it's not the kind of place that you really want to be, you know, driving yourself because it's a bit busy. So what do rich petrol heads with stuff like this do when they feel the need for speed? They head out up here into the mountains. Now these country roads have long been used for a bit of informal street racing or just an easy Sunday drive. But if you're the owner of a supercar, then you probably need something a bit more formal. Welcome to the Magarigawa Club. Situated about an hour outside Tokyo, just a stone's throw from the coast, the Magarigawa Club is the newly opened best kept secret of the Japanese supercar owner. Nestled in the jungle-covered hills near Minamoboso in Chiba, it's a 3.7km long track designed by F1 trackmaker Supremos, Tilka engineers and architects. And it's conceived as a kind of track-based luxury spa for people and cars. And just driving up the driveway, you get the impression that this definitely isn't your usual motorsport circuit. It's more like Jurassic Park with Armco, or a luxury retreat with a slight whiff of high-octane fuel. There's only one problem, not being from around here, I haven't got any wheels. So I had to borrow some from the Magarigawa Club and they suggested a second-hand Porsche from 2010. said, well, we've got a very special car that you might like, and it turned out to be this, a Porsche 911 GT3 RS 3.8. Um, the interesting thing about this is that I actually drove these when they were new, and it's basically one of my favourite ever Porsches because of this. Pure natural aspiration, just under 500 horsepower, just feels absolutely awesome. And weirdly, the best thing about this is that this was uh, one of my dream cars and it was actually in the white with the red wheels and the red graphics. So this is me revisiting a bit of a unicorn for me. And I'm driving it around an absolutely awesome track in the mountains of Japan. Honestly, I don't think it gets much better than this. Right, time to show you what this looks like from the driving seat. And no, we won't be taking it at race pace because I'm very conscious of the fact this isn't my car. So this is where the lap starts. And you go straight down this short straight to here where you've got a first left. Now this is quite a long sort of 90 left which goes on to another straight. You can build up quite a lot of speed down here, so you've got to be quite careful. Going quite quick now. Heavy braking because we're coming into a slightly more technical section. So we go first right and then there's a quick left. And it's a double apex corner and it tightens, so you've got to be quite careful. Big hairpin. And then drive back out of it and up to another straight. Again, we go right onto this bit of straight sort of got a fade to the right and left but nothing too scary but then you're coming back into a sort of mild right hand corner but it starts to go uphill here and this is where you start to get the gradation change and then you've got to be quite careful because these rights are blind so you're coming over a blind crest and you go right again so there's quite a lot of understeer if you're not paying attention then you go left and through a little section that if you take a lot of curb you can actually straight line but I'm a bit scared so I won't. A little bit of a tweak there and then it starts to just go straight uphill and then there's a massive blind crest before the clubhouse and then you start to come down into this little dip so it's a little bit different. Pop back out to the left, be careful because if you go too wide it gets a bit weird then you go right again then you go left again then you go right down the hill. It's really technical 
and then you're back around a big left hand downhill bend let it bleed out to the right really interesting to drive because it's got these big kind of relaxing straights and then at either end it's extremely technical and if you get one of the corners wrong it's a bit strange because you'll get all of the corners wrong in that next section but looking around me it's just got this weird old school vibe there's ancient forests and um, you can see where the track's been carved out of this valley and then it's all been replanted now it's not grown up quite yet but I've never been to a racetrack that's got so much nature surrounding it. You really do feel like the track's nestled down into the V of the valley. And then you've got these big walls which separate the elevation change from the top part of that straight to this one. So it's quite a long, thin circuit. Sort of snakes around inside this beautiful kind of ancient valley. I've never driven anywhere quite like it. And there's actually loads of kind of runoff and stuff so I don't think it's actually that dangerous, apart from in some of these technical sections where you could get it really wrong if you were being very silly. But being in a GT3 RS, it's pretty bound on. It's this bit where you start to go up the hill again that will catch you out if you're not paying attention. I just love the way you come up here and it's all blind and it's really scary. And then you have to go straight into the pit. What a circuit, what a place. There's nothing quite like it on any racing calendar anywhere. Now, the McGarrigar circuit has a lot going for it, but I needed to get a bit more information on this place. So I needed more information from someone in the know, and he turned out to be GT racer and Formula 4 pilot Hideto Yasuoka. The Marigawa Club is amazing. <laughs> But why does it exist? What was the original thought behind it? Um, well, so the original thought is that our CEO, who has two daughters, a wife and two daughters, yeah. wants to go to a racetrack, but cannot take his family. And um, that's because of the facilities. So he wanted to play, he wanted to make a place for himself, basically. Yeah, that wasn't just for him, that he could bring his family yes. to. We were lucky to find this place. What we liked about this place is that it had a lot of elevation difference. Yeah, there's real, real roll to the track, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, and it was very close to the highway. I mean, we can see the highway from here. That's actually- It's really unassuming. Yeah, yeah. You, you sort of come up a really quite unassuming road mm -hmm. and then the track kind of reveals itself in this valley. But yeah. how in earth mm -hmm. did you manage to get a racetrack fitted into this beautiful green leafy uh, valley? How That's, did you make it? I think the magic of Tilke. Tilke is the track designer. Um, he's very famous for uh, F1. F1 tracks. I think all the tracks since Sepang in 98 is done by Tilke. Yeah. So this was a this was quite a narrow V-shaped valley. Yes. And then how did you because it wouldn't have fitted? Yes, so where we are right now was basically inside a mountain or a hill. <laughs> so we took off the top. Yeah. to make this flat space that we're in right now. And then we cocked the valley also yeah. and basically filled the soil, all of the soil in the valley to make the space you were on track. It's quite a, a strange track in that it's very technical <laughs> in one part yeah. and then there's some big, long, mm -hmm. straight drags. Mm -hmm. It's like, what was the thinking behind it? That it was fun to drive or that it was instructive yes. to drive? or um, Definitely fun to drive. Fun to drive and hopefully without pushing i mean that right. because uh, what we were thinking was that people who wants to race would go to a racetrack they would participate racing so they would practice to get a lap time or, or improve driving skills yeah. whereas this place is for just car enthusiasts or car collectors yeah. who has never driven maybe on on a racetrack and also for me what was important is that uh, this is a membership club yeah. and our members will be members for I think at least 20 years. Right. And I didn't want them to get um, bored of driving here. Yeah. But here, even for the professional drivers, I think it's going to take a while to uh, get a perfect lap. And that's the concept of this track. We okay. didn't want to make it. It's deliberately difficult. Yes, yes. Do you know what? I can barely believe this place. It's utterly fantastic. But the Magari Gower Club is essentially a literal petrol head's paradise. 
Thing is, nice as all this is, a sanctuary for you, your friends, your family, even your dog, if you come here, there was one place that you really want to be, and that's out there, on track. Killing three bones.